Hello guys, me Carl Z is a cap Carl FF, and I have some breaking news from the Kyle Larson camp. So he got the green light from Jeff Gordon and Rick Hendrick that he will be allowed to do the Coke 600 for the Cup Series and the Indy 500 in the IndyCar Series. So what does that say for Kyle Larson? Uh, well, Jeff Gordon and Rick Hendrick have agreed that he will find a team that's going to allow him to win in his first try, but you know how Indy car goes when you are a rookie. It's very hard to do it. It's um, basically, I, I don't know if a rookie has won the Indy 500, but in the Coke 600, Jeff Gordon won in 1994, just, you know, knowing that he wanted to do the Indy 500, but hey, he's won a bunch of Coke 600 in his career, so pretty much that's what Carl Larson wanted to do, just know that he wants to do it. And the good thing is, last year he he did win the Coke 600 and actually dominated, I'm telling you. I mean, the sad news from last Sunday, he didn't move on in the round of 12, which I find he's going to get another championship, but it wasn't meant to be. So we'll just see if his teammate Chase Elliott will get his second championship, along with seven others that are still in this dogfight. So that's pretty much it on the Carl Larson news. And I have another news from jacekeen.com. And it was posted at 9 in the morning, just before you all go to work and stuff. So here it is. NASCAR is interested in having a street race in New York City. So I've heard this from the NASCAR Weekly podcast like a month ago that NASCAR wanted to do a street race in Pittsburgh. But I've seen IndyCar do Nashville and the streets of Toronto like they've done for many decades now. But And also Detroit also. But street racing for NASCAR? <laughs> I think I agree with it. But you know, we're going to have to generate a lot of revenue to make it happen. To do it in New York City because, you know, New York City is a really expensive place to have a street race. Especially for the NASCAR audience. But go read this article yourselves because I'm not going to read it all. And I think the way they tried in the LA Memorial Coliseum, you mean last January, it was a big bang, you know? <laughs> and Joey Logano and Kyle Busch had us settled for it. <laughs> and Logano beat him to the line. So. Yeah, this racing in New York City, Pittsburgh, Chicago, and Los Angeles. <laughs> this sport is getting too expensive to appeal in and entice new race fans to, you know, try it out and see if they like it, you know. And it's mixed views, but, you know, I would say I want to be a fair give a fair assessment because yeah not oh not everybody is gonna have the same likes and dislikes so you know having to go to different places and all that but it is what it is so so that's pretty much it on my nascar news but i also wanted to say one thing this happened yesterday with tyler reddick He's being bought up by 2311, his new vendor already. So he's going to leave Richard Childress Racing and move on to Toyota Camp. So, yeah, that's, that's, that's been going on for the past month, but we already know it's old news, so don't have to go deep into it. So, so make Capricorn of F. You all have a great day, and peace out.